Here at March 15, one of our key solutions is helping organizations identify and select future leaders. We help organizations to do this by benchmarking their leadership competencies against other organizations in their industries or their regions. We also help them to identify a pipeline of uh, future leaders uh, to drive future success. We also help identify potential barriers to business success. We do this by using a series of leadership assessments where we can offer some in-depth insights into the foundational aspects of leadership effectiveness. And practically, um, this sort of uh, assessment and development has really worked well for some of our clients. So I'll give you two examples so you can better understand. Uh, we had a client hiring a senior leader who they would be looking at in the longer term to become the president or the successor in that organization. And the client uh, had interviewed the candidate and was fairly sure about fit. The candidate had come from a similar industry job and was ready um, to take on the role. But we're, what we're trying to reaffirm when we assess and interview the candidate uh, after the client is their aspirations, where have they come from, what has their work history been, uh, does this make sense as a logical next step for this person. And then finally, uh, their ability. Uh, we want to be able to understand what their natural gifts are, even if they're not there yet in terms of development uh, as a future president, what are their development edges? What do we have to help them to concentrate on as we're developing them? And so in the case of this leader, we could reaffirm that the enthusiasm was there, but we needed to be able to point out that that leader was making decisions at a very quick level, that that was their natural style right now, and they would have to take on more of a due process um, thoughtfulness in order to become the president over time. So that was something that had to be developed, and we're now working with that client to develop, to develop that thoughtfulness in this leader. And so that's one example. A second example is a family business where we were working with the adult child of the founder and that child was in the neighborhood of late 30s, early 40s, so no longer someone who was in early development of their career. But what we were identifying is natural skills and talents that were quite different from the founder, so that's always hard for people to get their mind around. So we were seeing the next chapter of leadership quite differently in the business. But what we realized is if, if we were able to find those innovator characteristics in someone who could complement the successor, then I think that the chapter would be successful overall. So making the candidate aware or the future successor aware of what their development edge was, uh, which was again, just as the previous candidate was to be that more thoughtful senior leader but not to change their personality. What they did best in the business was to understand the detailed technical level of the business and that was their expertise. And we could get that innovation that the founder had bought uh, previously from other senior leaders that would complement the new president. So I hope that gives you a, a more concrete example of how assessment and development work together to create the leaders that are needed in your organization. We'd love to speak to you more about that and we look forward to your questions.